Ladies and gentlemen, it is a very awesome episode. Excuse my voice, I'm currently dying on the inside from some sort of cold or flu, but we got wheels and we have tires. So without further ado, here they are. So when it came to deciding what wheels and tires to run, I kind of stuck with what I knew. Um, I had ROH wheels on my Navara, so I went with ROH Assaults for the Ranger. Just did a bit of research, looked at um, Facebook groups and stuff around what offsets to run. So I've gone a plus 12 offset for the Assaults. A stock Ranger has like a plus 50 or a plus 55 or something offset. I have a feeling these ones are gonna poke a little bit, uh, but that's okay. So we can um, fix that by getting some flares and whatnot. And then tire size, we went with a 285 by 70. So technically slightly bigger than legal. Um, Queensland police, please don't watch this video. Hopefully the Popo like the look of them. So if anyone personally knows me, usually I'm against chrome wheels, but I'm getting old and I saw these and I was like, you know what? That machine finish is gonna look good on the Rangers. Here's what it sort of looks like up against it. It is gonna take up a lot more of that, that arch. Another reason for going a 285 as well, so a 33 inch. If you watched the video where we went to the Springs 4x4 park, uh, we were bottoming out quite a, Quite a bit so this will get us up off the ground a little bit more pretty damn keen to see what they look like on but first i want to make sure i take care of these so i did oh, go to super cheap and buy some of this stuff so no idea if it's gonna uh gonna work or not but it's meant to just put like a bit of a ceramic coating on them um I don't know, we'll try and keep them shiny for as long as possible. Let's give these a bit of a clean, and then let's get them chucked on the Ranger, which I'm sure you're all keen to see. All right, we are all ceramic coated up, ready to chuck these on. Now these wheels have a different center bore size, so we need to make sure we chuck those on. And the place I bought the wheels from, for some reason, gave me black nuts for the wheels instead of like a chromey sort of finish, but we'll just go with the black for now. Uh, we can always buy another set. I wonder if I'm gonna have to trim some things, we'll, we'll find out. harder than it should be but these wheel nuts are like I don't know when you put it on it's hard to describe it but they feel really soft
facing that way a little bit from when I've turned into the driveway, but so much media. And then Mother Nature said, you know what? You can do it in the rain. I'm gonna have a shed one day with a hoist in it. Until then, driveway life. I don't even know if this is working now. Just piss and rain. But we got the back on. We got the back on before the wind took us away. I thought it might just spit a little bit, but we have a slight break in the weather. Let's finish this off. Just as I finish putting them on, Mother Nature comes back with a vengeance. It's pissing down again, but we got it done. The wheel nuts on this wheel were absolutely f***ed. Took me 400 years to get off, so I still have to put the center caps on, but actually don't really mind the black wheel nuts. We'll leave them off for now and see how we go, but... Very impressed with how they turned out. Definitely going to have to invest in some flares, just some slimline ones. They come up real, real good. That ceramic coating stuff made them feel like really soft to touch. So, because I can already tell it's going to be a pain in the butt with some water sitting in there and everything. But I like it. came up real good real good I'm ready for the fuel economy to rate me <laughs> did you just notice my sticker Thank you, Ray.